the hundreds of walks and routes on the Carmarthen Ramblers website are now uploaded to a program called Wikiloc. This is an online mapping program which is very user friendly and it will make it easy for you to view a route. So the first thing to do is to open the Carmarthen Ramblers website to so find the walk area and then scroll down to the maps. Everywhere there is a red triangle, there is a route or multiple routes. So, for instance, at Kidwelly, there's a red triangle. Kidwelly is in Carmarthenshire. So, choosing the Carmarthenshire column and then scrolling down to the Ks, there are indeed four walks. So, we can be assured we'll find one on Wikiloc. To get onto Wikiloc, we go to Useful Links and then down to the Wikiloc link and we choose Wikiloc United Kingdom. And then in the search box, click once and type in Kidwelly and click the search word. The walks are presented to you and you can choose any one. What you get is the satellite view of the walk on the left and the st statistics, length of the walk exactly, the climbs, whether it's a circular walk and so on, on the right. If you've got a GPX, you can download the GPX file to follow on your GPS unit. You can expand the view by clicking on this button here, you get the full screen and you can zoom in and out with these buttons here on the top right. The elevation profile allows you to view where the significant climbs are and if you want to collapse that elevation profile you can click on the down chevron to see the whole route in, in its entirety. There is a green pin at the start point of the walk and the grid reference for the walk you have probably noted from the Command and Rambler's list of walks. The start and end is from this car park and if we want to see the lay of the land we can take the icon for the street view and drag this icon down to wherever there is a blue overlay on a, a navigable road. Road ends there so I'll drop the icon there to see it, the car park in street view and familiarize myself with where we will be parking. There's the icon. If I want to, I can take the camera out to the main road, up the road a bit, and view the approach to the car park. The button on the left takes you back to the satellite view. If I zoom out, I could transcribe this onto a paper map. There are other maps but none of them are ordnance survey. So back to the satellite map. What is very handy is where the route crosses a road. You can familiarize yourself with that spot by using again the street view facility. You can see where the route emerges onto a road. In this particular case it's not obvious but you can see the waypoint marker or the, the path marker. So you know you're on track. What in fact happens is the route is underneath the road and you walk underneath this road and you can get down to it from the spur of the road. Again, back to the satellite view, and you might want to look at another location where the route crosses the road, the 484, 
takes a little man and find out what's going on in that location. There's the waypoint marker again and the route is going up a converted railway track back to the main view. You could take a, a, a a screen capture of this if you wish but as I said before you can transcribe it onto a paper map. If there are any questions please get in touch with the webmaster at the Command and Ramblers website and I'd be happy to email you back with any queries you might have. So goodbye for now.